Hello everyone. So in this session, we are going to start a new topic, which is group reporting. So basically the group reporting is used for the preparation of consolidated financial reports. Let's say we have different entities and we are going to perform and prepare the consolidated financial reports. So group reporting will be used for the preparation of consolidated financial reports in the system. So let's check out the architecture. So we have three universal journals to store the data. So first one is AC DOCA, which is used to store the actual line items. Second one is AC DOC P, which is used to store the planning line item. So initially the data will be posted in AC DOCA and AC DOC P. So after that, we are going to use the data monitor. So data monitor will be will used to post the data in the group reporting universal journal so separate universal journal is available for the posting of group journal entries so let's check out the universal journal so here we have go to sc 16 so we can see that this is ac to q so this is used for the storage of group journal entries and we have ledger dimensions. So these are the master data used for the storage of group journal entries. So initially all the data will be posted in the actual line item data table and the planning line item data table. So data monitor will be used to post the data from actual line item and planning line item to the group reporting journal, journal universal journal so let's check out the data monitor as well so here we have go to enterprise controlling so here we have data collection so we are going to use the data monitor for the posting of data so we have different steps available for the preparation of consolidated financial reports so these are the group reporting process so all the processes are divided into four steps so first one is to prepare the data and after that we are going to do the collection of the data after that system is going to perform the consolidation and after the consolidation we are going to analyze the data so first of all we are going to check out how the system is going to prepare the data so we have two different solutions available whenever we are going to use the group reporting tool so let's say we have different entities so first one is using sap system and second one is not using sap system and it is non-sap so the first solution is used first solution provided by sap is to use the central finance so whenever we are going to use the central finance and any financial data posted in the non SAP will be automatically posted in SAP system and AC DOCA and AC DOC P will automatically get updated. So the second solution is to not so some companies are not going to use the central finance. So for that case what we are going to do so we are going to upload the trial balance of that entity at the period end so automatically system is going to update the group reporting general universal general table so we are going to upload the data so we are going to define this whenever when we are going to define the consolidation units so two options are available so either we are going to upload the flexible template or either we are going to use the data from universal journals so these two different solutions are available so when we are going to upload the data so first of all we are going to do the data collection so after that we are going to calculate the net income so net income will be calculated for each period so when we are going to use the group reporting we are going to calculate the net income for the each period so initially we if when we are not going to use the group reporting 
so net income will be calculated at the period end so at the fiscal year end we are going to calculate the net income and it will it will be posted in the retained earning but when we are going to use the group reporting tool so we are going to calculate the net income for each period and which will be ultimately posted to the retained earning so after that we are going to perform the consolidation so these two steps prepare and collection of the data steps will be performed when we are going to use the data monitor so here we can see that this is the balance carry forward which will be performed after the fiscal year change after that we are going to release the universal journal validate the universal journals data collection so here we are going to upload the data if we are not going to use the central finance for non sap system after that we are going to calculate the net income validate the report and if if there is any manual postings are required so we are going to do that so here we can see that this is the balance carry forward release general entry data collection so these are the steps so here we are going to calculate the net income so after in the next session we are going to perform this for the consolidation units so here first we are going to keep prepare the hierarchy so parent and child companies will be displayed here so we are going to prepare the consolidation group here and for each consolidation unit we are going to perform these steps so after the data monitor we have two further steps which is the consolidation and analysis of the data so here we are going to use the consolidation monitor for these two steps so now we can see that first after the data collection we are going to do the consolidation so first of all we are going to do the intercompany elimination of the sale and after that intercompany elimination of inventory profit so these steps will be performed and after that we are going to do the consolidation so these are the steps so first of all we are going to prepare for the consolidation so intercompany elimination manual adjustment group shares so here these steps will be performed when we are going to do the consolidation so after that we are going to extract the reports for the consolidated financial statements so these are the steps so this was the, just the introduction of the group reporting how we are going to perform this so in the next sessions we are going to do the configuration as well so after that now come to the version and we are going to use the global parameter as well so here we are going to use the version so the consolidation will be performed for each period so here we are going to define the period and we have the consolidation chart of account as well so first of all we are going to prepare the consolidation chart of account and general ledger account will be mapped in the chart consolidated chart of account as a financial statement item so here we can see that the master data of the consolidation we can see that this is the master data so first of all we are going to prepare the consolidation units then we are going to prepare the consolidation group and then we are going to define the hierarchy as well so after that we are going to prepare the financial statement items and here we are going to prepare the hierarchy of the financial statement items so now go to spro and start the configuration so best practice for the group reporting is available so for this we are going to implement a node so sap already provided us a node for the implementation of best practice so here we can see that so if we are going to implement the best practice so we are going to implement so we must have implement this 
SAP node so system automatically define some define some basic master data so we can easily perform all the configuration for the group reporting so if we are not going to use this so what we are going to do we are going to define the initialize settings so here if we are not going to implement the best practice so we have to execute this program so after that we are going to define the global parameters so before defining the set before setting the global parameters we are going to define the master data because in the global parameters we have to use the different master data so like we can see that here we have consolidation ledgers so let's create a consolidation ledgers c1 i'm going to use this consolidation one so i'm going to copy from another okay so this is already exist so i'm going to use c5 so this is the consolidation ledger for ha so i am going to use the ledger currency is ust so consolidation will be performed in the ledger currency so like we have leading and non leading ledger in the financial accounting so whenever we are going to do the consolidation processes so system is automatically going to store the data in the consolidation ledgers so for that reason we are going to define the consolidation ledgers save this so we have defined consolidation ledger and after that i am going to display the dimensions so dimensions define for which dimensions we are going to do the consolidation and here system is already defined some dimensions we cannot be able to create the dimensions so we can see that here we have companies so for different companies we are going to do the consolidation process so now come back so after that we are going to define the versions and consolidation chart of account consolidation master data fields or structures so we are going to define all these processes in the next sessions so this is the first session for the group reporting which is just introduction so we will see all these processes in detail and we are going to create our own entity and on consolidation group and consolidation units so thank you for watching this video